Adolescent patients with a chronic illness eventually need to make the transition from pediatric health care, in which there is a strong presence of medical personnel and parents, into adult health care, where they are fully responsible of their treatment. During this transition, patients need to develop enough autonomy and independence as to take the treatment into their own hands. They need to become aware of the choices to maintain a healthy life and the complications that may suffer if they do not pay attention to their health. But it is also during this period that patients are typically undergoing other important changes in their lives, such as going to college, getting a job, emotional changes, moving, etc. Unfortunately, there is not enough information about how young people go through this transition, and most importantly, which factors have the greatest influence in the process. The questions we try to answer in these projects are, can technology be used to support this transition, and if so, what are the most effective type of interactions? New generations have grown accustomed to the use of mobile phones to stay connected with friends and obtain most of the information they need. Could these devices be used to foster the acquisition of autonomy and independence? The proposed solution is a mobile application called Transition Mind that offers a bidirectional communicational channel between patients and medical personnel with different types of interactions to understand what is the best way to support patients to gain autonomy and independence. The app has been designed with a simple and intuitive user interface so that patients can handle it with barely no previous experience. In a preliminary phase, medical personnel uploads the information about the events occurring as part of the treatment for the patient. These events are then sent to the mobile device. When the patient starts the application, she initially sees a screen with the treatment events that will occur in the future. The user may edit each event and enter simple annotations about it. For example, if it was a doctor appointment, if the visit occurred, and some comments about it. The application also offers another screen showing what was reported during the last days and how close is this behavior to an ideal one. These two screens target the compliance aspect of the treatment. The application contains two additional interactions that make the patient self-reflect on her treatment. In the home screen, the user may write whatever is on her mind at the moment with respect to the treatment. Catching these impromptu comments may help understand the situations or aspects that affect the patient. The second interaction allows patients to write arbitrary memos with their annotations or thoughts. For example, some questions to ask in the next doctor appointment, a summary of a consultation, information obtained from other sources, etc. Self-reflection is then the underpinning mechanism of these two interactions. The third type of interaction provided by the tool is a screen to report their emotional state. With a single touch, patients report their energy and emotion levels. In the same screen, slider is used to report how they perceive their overall health, and at the bottom, they may enter any comments about their emotional state. The application also includes an additional screen with information of medical personnel that can be contacted regarding different aspects of the illness. Which of these three interaction groups, compliance, reflection, or emotional state, is the most appropriate? Which one has a larger effect on making patients aware of their treatment needs? Could different interactions be used with different users? How often are patients willing to report information? Do they increase their notion of autonomy and independence? These and other questions are going to be answered with the help of Transition Might. The application will help us obtain clear understanding of this delicate transition and the information will be extremely helpful to tailor the way to interact with patients, know the problems and challenges they face, and anticipate complications that can translate into an improved well-being.